What's going on guys, Versus Z here, bringing you a video review of the NX Edge Style Double O Quanta. Okay guys, starting off with this review, looking at the box, it is an NX Edge Style box, typical NX, NX Style box. Um, it is number nine in the series. Um, this is also my first, so I don't know anything about this. I'm kind of just going into this as I go. Anyway, this is the side of the box. You get to see Quanta, the number, and this unit. Simple name here. Kind of reminds me of a Final Fantasy look here. Um, it shows you that it does come with an effect part. Uh, on the side here, same thing. Got these little grid design things there. That's pretty cool. Uh, it's a little bit different from the other one. So it's just a continuation of the picture. Just going off to the side there. Nice pose, by the way. And the back here, Bluefin Seal of Approval. They're basically the US-based uh, distributor for Bandai products, like Gundam stuff. There's the barcode. And in case you're wondering, uh, these figures do run you roughly $30. This was, uh, I want to say, $27 uh, for this one. And uh, I got this one out of all the other ones that was available at the uh, Tatsu Hobby at the time. Uh, because I felt like it was the best priced one and also the best one you can get for that price. Um, the the others will cost you $25. They range, really, they range between $25 to $35, just depending on how new the figure is or whatever it comes with. It, it all just varies. But you can see here, you've probably already been looking at it, the different features you can get with this figure. And it's really, really cool. There's the top there. And then there's the bottom. So, next edge style really cool i'm not really huge on uh sd designs or just these small super form designs but these nx uh nx edge style designs for their uh super deformed gundams uh they kind of have this like metal is sd metal build design to them and i really really like that and it translates really well in terms of the sd design and let's just go ahead and open this guy up real quick and take a look at the inside before we go ahead and look at the actual figure Alright, so when you open the box, this is pretty much everything you get. You get the uh, typical bubble packaging, you get the figure, the accessories, and all that. Behind it, of course, uh, package just like your Robot Damashi figures. You get the instruction manual, which is going to show you how to do all the different things and all the different features. You get a stand, all the different um, effect parts. Uh, it, some of them will have multiple effect, multiple effect parts, but this right here is like one of the coolest things. Um, but this one for sure is the coolest part of the figure. Um, something you can't get with the high grade uh, or the master grade, so that's some interesting there. And on the back is just nothing. Just fine. Behind the box as well, here's the effect part. It's kind of like the slashing effect part for the sword. And then here's the stand, uh, the arm. These clear pieces are going to be holding these two green, clear green pieces, and therefore uh, the sword bits to go around. Uh, so this is pretty cool. Interesting thing about these uh, stands, you can see there. You've got like a kind of these, they're supposed to be hinges basically. So if you have multiple ones, you can um, attach them on, on here and you can have like an angled base and whatnot. And that's pretty cool. So if you have multiple NX Edge style figures, um, you can definitely benefit from that if you have uh, all these extra stands. All right, now taking a look at the design of the figure. First off, I wanted to point that part out there. That's supposed to be some kind of detail. Although it comes off as looking like just <laughs> damaged plastic. Uh, so I'm not sure if I like that effect or not. But it's supposed to be basically um, details uh, like circuitry and whatnot. Um, but other than that, the head is painted really, really nicely. You have metallic green for the what's supposed to be clear parts. Uh, forehead, vis uh, forehead camera. The side clear parts. Um, the elbow. Nope, not there. The sides of the legs have clear parts. Uh, the chest, of course, you saw that already. Clear green parts. Um, nice metallic yellow on the air vents. And other than that, the colors are pretty accurate. So you have some areas here that are a little bit missing, but I mean, it is a smaller toy. It is a smaller action figure. I'm sorry, I actually called you a toy. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, the face here. Um, the chin is painted nice. The eyes are painted wonderfully. I could have swore, though, that there's gray... That the outer part of the face mask is supposed to be gray but unfortunately the pieces don't come off and i won't be able to add that in there but i really i really feel like it's supposed to be gray on the outer parts of the face mask uh correct me if i'm wrong but i'm 
almost 100 percent sure it's supposed to be but other than that um as you can see it does require some panel lining is um you do see that there's a lot of surface detail not just on the white but on the blue as well on the feet under the feet you have a, not lots of nice detail that can be panel lined uh this figure will definitely benefit from that um, aside from that i do like the design here i'm going to zoom out for a little bit or focus out a bit but yeah, other than that, I do like the design I mentioned earlier. It does remind me of a shrunken down SD SD styled um, metal build design, uh, and I do notice that um, with the Strike Freedom. Um, I, I noticed it there, and then I noticed it in this one. So I was like, okay, I'm just go ahead and say it that way. There are shrunken down metal builds, and if you like the design of the metal builds, you'll probably like the design of these. Moving on to the articulation, and the way the best way I can describe the articulation of these smaller figures is. Think of an SD figure arts figure um, as best as as best as the articulation can get. So the head is on a double joint, can barely move uh, forward and back, but it, you can do that. And it does have a ball jointed uh, neck at the top of the head. You do have a swing out joint here. I don't know if you could see it. Maybe here. No, you can't. You can't see it anyway. Oh. All right. So it's a swing out joint there. You can see that there it's a swing out joint um, it can also go up so the shoulders have a pretty good range of movement it's pretty much a ball joint you also have a hinge at the uh, at the shoulder uh, bicep swivel uh, but as you saw earlier the arm kind of popped off so it's just it's just on a short peg there just like that so just something to be mindful of um, elbow joint just a single joint there but still a good bend and the wrist should be on a peg so you can just turn those around and whatnot. The chest, or the torso rather, you just have, let's see. Okay, so it's just it's just a peg, so you'll just get side to side. Unfortunately, no uh, wiggle there. The legs are also on some pretty universal joints. They're on ball joints, you can see there, so you get a good range of moment, movement. Uh, and it's a very, you know, I wouldn't say very stiff, but it's stiff enough. You can, you heard the creak, I mean. So it's pretty stiff, I like that. Um, of course, there's a thigh swivel. You've got a knee bend, single joint knee bend, but still looks pretty damn good. And then ball joints also for the feet. Do they rock? Yes, they do. So they're ball joints. I mean, I just said that. Duh. <laughs> uh, and that's pretty much it for the um, articulation. So it's very simple joints, but they're very effective joints. I'm pretty sure you can get a lot of cool poses out of these things. All right, now on to the accessorize, and we're going to start with this. This is his uh, shield wing, shield backpack thing. Uh, one of the coolest parts of the Quanta. you got a ball joint here. you got a peg right there, and that's going to attach onto that hole on the shoulder. Or if you're going to put it as a backpack, what you have to do is remove this blue part there. This, does, this blue part does come off pretty easily, so that's another thing you'd be mindful of. Rotate the ball joint up, and then, oops, it's not supposed to happen. Yeah, so it's supposed to be something like that. Um, it's supposed to stay at that angle. And then you attach it onto the back part here for like um, burst mode. Uh, but again, you, you, the ball joint doesn't stay there super securely. So just be careful when you're attaching it to the back part there. Um, obviously, these sword bits are going to come off. Uh, no spoilers there. I mean, it is the Quanta. Uh, this part here is on a ball joint as well. Uh, can't open and it stops right about. Th I can probably go even wider than that if these um, sword bits weren't in the way. So that's pretty cool there. Unfortunately, the GN drive is not painted, but you're probably not even going to see that half the time anyway. Um, one unfortunate thing about these uh, sword bits, as good as they look, gunshot sound effect. <laughs> the under parts of them are not painted, and that's for all the sword bits. Um, yeah, that's unfortunate. Um, you would have to pose the sword, the Buster Sword, which you'll see later on. You'll have to pose that in a certain way, just so you don't see the under parts of it. But uh, you know that's kind of unfortunate there. Set that to the side, and well, let me put this back on. Ah, eh, we'll worry about that later. Uh, the stand, of course. You guys seen this already? You do get an arm. And I forget which one's supposed to be the. Okay, so you have the flat part here. Uh, I mean, I guess it's universal. No, 
the flat part here with the thicker peg is going to go into the holes of the stand then the thinner peg is actually going to go into the quanta underneath and on the back so you have two different points of um two different hard points to put the to pose him up on there you got these clear green parts which are going to be used for the swords get off hair uh, let's see how this is going to work let's kind of test it out how it's going to work just as easy as possible so we're going to use the long the long edge let's see that it's going to go like that and then the medium edge is going to go like that so let me actually show you these under each of these you have three different holes uh some of those holes are some of those holes are going to be used to attach on the backpack and, and also to the extra sword part, which I'll show you in a second. Uh, and these back parts, the smaller parts, are going to be used for uh, these pegs that are on the green. Just make sure you line them up. It's easy to do. Pretty easy to do. So there, it should look like that. And then once you have them both, you have both the blades on either side. And then you have also these clear parts here and I just realized I might have made a, I made a mistake here so you do this basically clear part attach it onto there okay so I did do it upside down just attach this here again and there's um oops there's three of them, so so there's three pegs that you can put them on. So you can have them like that. Yeah, I do realize that the other part, the other part there doesn't show. So you see what I mean already about like you can only pose them a certain way. Otherwise, you'd see one half filled and the other half not filled. You'd put Quanta up here. Let's just test that out real quick. You put Quanta up here have him hold his sword which I'm about to show you in a second so we'll set this off to the side real, real quick put this up on his shoulder just so you guys can get a good look at it right there all right just to kind of see that and then Oh, you also have this, which will look better once it's attached to something. Uh, and then his sword. So his main GN sword. This can rotate, although because it's on this kind of hexagonal shape there, the way that this goes in, it almost has segment. Oh, okay, there he goes. Make me a liar again. Uh, so you can have it in rifle mode if you wanted to. Uh, mostly you're going to use it in sword mode and it just goes in his hand right here, which is angled by the way So it's angled so we can hold the sword and make it look natural Actually it's supposed to be like this There you go. So you can make the sword look natural while he's holding it Like so This is going to be you see right here already um, So you're gonna have to use one of these clear pieces um to pose the sword uh, effect part. But yeah. So it's kind of weird. You, you only get two of these clear pieces and you're going to need one of them to hold this up while you're doing like a sword slash effect. So it's kind of weird there. And then you also get this part here. Uh, Quanta fans will recognize this. This is basically how you're going to attach all those swords to make the Buster Sword. And you're gonna also get an open hand for the left. Let me just attach the Buster Sword pieces real quick just so you guys can look at that. The instructions do say that you're supposed to attach the smallest blade first, uh, which is gonna be in the middle. I'll demonstrate that for you guys. So, because of this, so small blade first in the middle, pointing downward. Same with this. And then you're going to take the middle blades and also have them pointing downward. Oh. And they're very secure fit. You can kind of hear the creaking in there. And then you're going to take the long blades and have them at the top. 
So it's very specific. You got to make sure you put the tiny ones first in the middle, middle, uh, middle size blades down to the bottom, tall size blades up top. You take the handle, take that handle, and you have the Buster Sword. Now, this is where again it kind of sucks that only one side is painted. So if you wanted to hide the non-painted sides, you have to pose them like this. I mean, most of the times you're gonna pose it like that, but it's just weird. You have to hide it, and it's it's just kind of it kind of sucks that only one side is painted. If you're good enough, of course, paint it. Um, the plastic does feel like the same plastic that's just a little tougher plastic than the same clear green that came with the high grade, the original high grade. Just get the same blue. Um, although it's not a pure blue, I think you have to make the blue a little bit darker. But yeah, so you get that. Um, you can also turn it sideways if you wanted to. Unfortunately, you can't make the Buster um, Cannon or Gun Mode. I forget what the bust. I forget what the name of that uh, big gun was called. Uh, but unfortunately, you can't do it. It's only Sword Mode. Um, it's not that big a deal to me. Um, I'm not. I don't feel like I'm suffering a loss there, but uh, it would have been nice to have that feature where you can turn it into the Buster Cannon. But yeah, so that's pretty much the accessories. I spent a lot of time on that there, uh, but that's it. All right, guys, end of the review, and it's already been such a long review for such a small figure, so I'm just gonna jump right to it. I'm only gonna recommend this figure, the Quanta, at least. I'm only gonna recommend the Quanta for those who love Quanta as much as I do. Now, if you love Quanta as much as I do, definitely pick this up. Um, I'm not, me, I'm not huge on the SD style. Um, it took a redesigning of like the metal build redesigning applied to an SD design for me to really want to pick this up. I was always curious about it, but I wanted to kind of like scratch that itch you know so i picked this up it cost me about 30 bucks which if you think about it uh the real grade quanta costs about the same price as this so it's kind of one of those conflicting things you want to pick this up or would you rather get the real grade that's up to you to decide but as far as this figure goes you got a lot of accessories lots of playability um and it being an action figure i would expect no less than that lots of playability and of course it comes with a lot of posability and that's an added bonus for me now the details might put you off because it is lacking in details at least um, panel line details. There's a lot of surface detail on here, but that's something you guys can just go ahead and add on. I won't knock the figure for lacking panel lines. It does look good. The surface details are sharp. Um, again, back going back to the accessories and the posability, this action figure delivers. Uh, but for $30, again, I mean, you can get high grade. You can get another robot damashi. You could probably, like I said, you can get a real grade with that. So that's the main argument there. I'll leave that up to you to decide. But for this figure, out of all the NX Edge style figures, I would definitely recommend you pick up Quanta out of all of them. Now, is this going to be my last figure? My last NX Edge style figure, at least? Probably not. I'm looking into getting the Strike Freedom, uh, maybe even the Barbatos. There are a couple of cool ones, too, that are outside of Gundam, like Gal Gaidar, that, are you, that you guys and I might be interested in. So definitely check out this line if you're curious about these small display figures that have lots of possibility, lots of playability, and will look good on your desk and not take up a lot of space. Well, this one looks like it's going to take up some space. But with that said, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this review. Let me know what you guys think of the NX Edge style by commenting down below. Let's talk about it. Like this video. Share it with your friends who may be curious about the NX Edge style figures. Or especially friends who like the Quanta. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.